Hello everyone, this is The Undertaker and today I wanted to talk about the new Epic Invasion. So, the Sinister Six Epic Invasion. The, the structure looks very similar to the previous one, only we have now lost also the rewards for gathering badge sets. Um, but uh, other than that, it looks pretty much the same. So let's take a look what's what's in it. So yeah, we can get some free badges for completing the levels. Um, you get the free uh, set uh, with the new costume uh, for your Spider-Man. And of course there is a Sinter 6 crafting event. So take a look. This is usually considered the kind of main prize of it. So let's see what they are offering this time. We can see that same as previous times we have four star regent costume box for thousand seals. Um, we have Spider-Man, so 10 Spider-Man shards for Spider-Man companion for 500 seals and you can fi buy five of these. So in total you could get 50 companion shards. Uh, we have these four sets four star set pretty much same what you got for free as one star now you can buy as four stars we have mysterio treasure boxes so these are similar than previous times so a four star costume um, four to five star core one star special companion uh, spider-man daredevil so that's a nice you can also buy the bad badge box so this is not a selector it's a, gonna be random um, but it costs 200 seals so just by looking of it it looks like the grand prize is um, spider-man if you look also there so we, here we can get 50 um, but to get a three star spider-man you would need 70 shards so let's actually look at the omega pass we can see that the free Omega Pass will give you 10 shards. So you would miss 10 shards if you if you can buy all the 50 from the event. Or if you buy the Season Pass, you get 30 shards because you get 10, 10 shards when you just buy it and 10 shards when you finish the pass. So in total, 30 shards. So if you have bought, bought Omega Pass, you would just need 40, 40 shards, which would cost you 2000 crystals. Um, so let's see how much and where we can get the tickets. So usually we can have them in the shop. So I already bought mine. You get five tickets uh, per week and uh, each of them costs 100,000. So since the event ends on, I think it was 9th of January, we have five opportunities to buy these. So that, and if we look at the event itself, we can see that we get two daily. Where, do, where else do we get? So when you logged in, you got a free reward for five of them. So if you can see my inventory, I have 12 of them now. Uh, so we got five for free. And also they are in the Omega Pass. That's, that's why I have 12, because I bought the five and I got the first two from Omega Pass. Free track has five and the premium pass has also five. We do have another source that will be important is this bundle. So you can buy this over five times and in total, if you spend 5,000 crystals, you will get 20 tickets. There is also yeah, a couple tickets here, five tickets here. There are also offers. Once you finish 
when you finish particular stages, you also get these special offers. So here you have another tree, another tree. So in total, that's six, nine, 12. So I assume most likely the fifth one will be, so you can get another 15 here. And we saw that there was five in this one. So another 20. So in total, you can buy 40 of these tickets. I didn't saw any other in other places. So we can consider that, yeah, you can buy additional 40 tickets. So let's um, see how feasible it is to get uh, four Spider-Man for free to play or, and um, yeah, how feasible it is also for getting it if you can do the four, stage four or stage five. If you can't get to the stage four, then probably this is not really an option for you and you just need to evaluate which, which rewards you want better. So let's look at the math. So let me bring up my spreadsheet. Okay, so let's look at the numbers. So we have 26 days that the event is going, including today. So naturally we will receive 52 tickets and we get 25 tickets from shop, five from the one that we are given for free, five from Omega Pass and five from Omega Pass paid. So in total, it's um, 85 tickets for free to play and 90 for the people who have bought the Omega Pass tickets. Uh, we have to spend two tickets to pass stage one and two. So that will get you 12 tickets. So I re reduce the ticket amount by two of what we get, where we because these ones we don't have a choice about. Afterwards, you can unlock level three and level four without spending any of the tickets. So I took these as the base numbers of the tickets that we can operate. And if you're able to do stage four, you, you will get either 1,360 or 1,440, depending if you bought the Omega Pass or not. If you can do stage five, you will get 1,700 or 1,800 respectively. So we see that the reward we want is Spider-Man 40 shards. So that will cost us 2000. So this is uh, yeah, this is much more than previously where the prime reward was 1600. So let's take a look. So if you can do only the stage four, so, so you would need to buy 35 tickets and yeah, that would cost you 9,000, but the cost will be much bigger because as you saw, we can buy only 20 tickets by the 1000. So uh, this will cost you, I think a lot, a lot more. And I don't think it's, it's really viable if you can do only stage four. So yeah, unfortunately for the people who can do only the stage four, I think the Spider-Man unlock is unreachable unless you get Spider-Man sh shards from companion pools. Uh, for stage five, we see that we need only 10 extra tickets. We can't buy 10. We would have to buy 12 as each of pack consists of four. So that would cost you about 3000 crystals if you don't buy the, the other offers. So, yeah, so this is a, a, a bit more expensive than the previous events uh, because yeah, previously you could get the reward, the main reward without spending any crystals, if you could do stage five. The good thing is that um, this is a combined reward. If you're lucky and you get uh, one pool, um, a one star Spider-Man from any of the, your companion draws, and we will get some for free. Um, this score reduces by 500 and yeah, you see that's 500 points is equal to 31 stage four tickets or 25 stage five tickets. So 
if you manage to pull this, then yeah, as a stage five player, you don't need to buy any additional ones. We will have actually tickets spare that you can use on uh, yeah, either the boxes or crafting the potions. So yeah, and same with stage four. So if you pull this, you just need four additional tickets and that's just one 1000 offer so yeah so um i would say the main reward is a bit unreached more unreachable if you don't get lucky than in the previous events uh, but yeah uh, it can still be doable but yes i would not probably suggest to go for this if you can do stage five um Thank you. Uh, thank you for listening. Um, and yeah, see you in another video. Goodbye.